Hi, it's Mark Bruner here from uh, from Greenbridge Consulting. Uh, let me just repeat that. Hi, yeah, so it's Mark Bruner here from Greenbridge Consulting. I have a guest here, uh, Joshua Bruger. He's just written a new book called The Energetic Self. So, Josh, yeah, great. The book cover looks great. Can you explain the reason for the book and how it will be a be uh, benefit to people reading it? Yeah, the energetic self, a guided journal inspired by Benjamin Franklin. It, it's about, okay, so Benjamin Franklin asked himself two questions every day. Every morning he'd ask himself, what good shall I do this day? And every evening he asked himself, what good did I do this day? What this book does is uh, allows you, you pick a goal in, in one of your three areas, or you can do all three. So you pick a professional goal, a personal goal, and a physical goal. And what you do is go through every day, and every morning you'll journal about what good will you do in those in those one of those three areas or all three of those areas? So it's it's great for someone that wants to have a, a professional goal, a physical goal. We we make goals in those areas. We make goals. Most goals that we make are for ourselves are in the professional realm, the personal, and the physical area. So it allows you to really put your goals in that area, and then every day you journal about what your what good you'll do in in that area towards your goal. And, you know, I've done this, I've been doing this journaling uh, now for a couple years, and it's really amazing when you realize at the end of the day when what you actually accomplish, what you, do, you started the day doing. So when you write it down, there's something that goes on with, with writing it down, thinking it, and then actually completing it. And you realize that when you journal at the end of the day, like what good you did this day, uh, how those two really align. It's like, wow. I actually did something in those three areas that I wanted to do. And so your day becomes like more fulfilled. It's like you feel kind of proud of yourself that you did what you started up the day doing. It's pretty impressive. Oh, so this book has hopefully will allow people to kind of get closer to their goals and, and achieve their goals in a, in a time they want to achieve them. Well, that sounds like a great idea. So let me ask you this. When you first started doing this journaling, did you find there was an instant success or did you find the success came later? Like, for example, when you first started in your first three months like, or your first week or two weeks, did you find that you were getting more accomplished or do you find that it took longer than that to really start to get into the swing of things? Well, you know, when we have a goal, uh, most people have a goal that's uh, pretty out there, pretty pretty impressive and uh, then there's miniature goals along the way so you know the goal might take you six months it might take you a year to get to but there's gonna be daily goals and what's cool about this book is you feel like it it, it closes that gap between um, what you want and what you have and you know most people that gap causes it could cause anxiety uh, let's say your goal is to um, be 35 pounds lighter and you see yourself as, you know, and so when you, when you want to be 35 pounds lighter and you know you're not, that gap of what you want and what you have could cause anxiety, it can cause stress, and that could lead to things that actually keep you further away from achieving your goal in the first place, you know? So what this does is allows you to go, hey, my goal is to be 35 pounds less. What I'm going to do today towards that goal, maybe it to be is I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to eat healthy. Uh, I'm going to walk so many steps. And then when you when at the end of the day, you realize I did eat healthy today. I did walk those many steps. You know, I did do those things to, towards that goal. Your miniature goals become complete. And what happens there is that gap between what you have and what you or what you want and what you have disappears. So the anxiety lessens, the stress is less, you feel more accomplished, which keeps you going towards your goal. So I, I, it's really good for people that are trying to strive towards these goals and understanding like, hey, I am living day to day the way I want to be. Wow. And it sounds like a great idea. I think uh, what would be really interesting, maybe an idea for a later book, is to show you, you know, how it started, what were the outcomes, what were the successes, what were the challenge points, and what happened overall. But it sounds like a great idea for a book and a journal. So is this now available? It's now available. It's on Amazon. 
Uh, you can find it um, either be my uh, the author's name, my name, Joshua Brueger, uh, in the search engine in Amazon, or you may uh, if you just put an energetic, I N N E R G E T I C, energetic is like energetic, but it's energetic. And I am the energetic coach. You, you also can go to my website, theenergeticcoach.com, or you can also go to joshuabrueger.com. It'll get you to the same place. Uh, you also can purchase my book uh, on on my website. Uh, in the shopping section, I also do have available my goal commitment bracelets available, and this is probably not the best way to showcase these, but it's basically a band, you know, uh, you put your get a goals on a card, a professional goal, a personal goal, and a physical on a card, you keep the card in your wallet or your purse, and you keep a brand a band on you, and you keep yourself motivated every day going towards that goal. Uh, again, a professional, personal, or physical goal. And, and for the people that are in the ho hospitality community, uh, I've spent a lot of my life in hospitality. I also have the Energetic Hotelier. So I am the Energetic Coach, uh, and uh, I'm gonna. My brand is the inner is energetic, and I'm going towards. Uh, you know, so you can also find me. You can also get a session, a coaching session, or a consulting session uh, from the Energetic Coach out on my website. Okay, great. Uh, for people who are new to this, Josh. Can you quickly explain uh, the meaning of energetic? Yeah, energetic. So, you know, um, I believe in I believe when you walk into a room, you have an energy. You know, you, we all have an interpersonal energy. And, uh, you know, interpersonal energy to me is like when, you know, when, when you walk into a room, when you meet someone, uh, people know what your energy is like. People that know you know your energy. We all have an energy. Um, and that energy should have intent to what your end goals are and what you want in life. Uh, so my whole thing is you can choose your energy and how you choose to have, how do you choose to be your energy is your through your belief system, right? Like uh, we, all, we all gather information the same way. We all gather it through our five senses. And uh, what, what changes uh, information maybe you get, Mark, or that I get, or anyone out there that really receive is, our filters, our belief systems, right? So when it comes to our belief systems, it, it does change our energy. So my whole thing is energetic is, you know, is when when you bring yourself, you know, into a room, what energy do you want to bring into the room? And energetic, meaning it comes from within. It comes from within us. Well, when we walk, it comes to our belief system and that, and that, and that, how, that relates to the people we meet, uh, the jobs we take, uh, the jobs we're allowed to take, uh, the the you know the again our professional, our personal, and our physical life all goes through uh, you know our choices and the belief system that we have. Okay, excellent. And one final question: with your band, the goals that you write down there, they would be sort of long-term goals, more like a year, two years, or how would that work? Well. You know, it's it's kind of it's up to you. Um, I, I'm not here to determine anyone's goals. Uh, I, I I think goals are a very personal thing. Uh, I think I, I do. I mean, I, I push people right. Like, don't just uh, go for the largest. Go for the tallest branch. Right. Shoot for the stars. Uh, you know. But you also have to know that what you're also what you're capable of and what you want. So I always put down uh, goals that are are pushing uh, my ability, but also ones that I could also bring it down to something that I could I could also you know I can meet. I don't want to not meet the goals because that also is a little uh, frustrating. But yeah, you put down goals, maybe a year out, maybe six months out, that you know push yourself. And uh, the, the, there's, I have two symbols uh, on the bracelet, okay? Uh, one is the heliotropic blossom. Uh, and, you know, the heliotropic blossom is, you know, a, as plants grow towards their energy source, right? The sun, that's heliotropicism. Uh, we, you know, our goals also grow towards their energy source, right? And that's our belief system. So when we, when we have a goal, when we have to go, we have to realize we're, we're probably going to change. Some of our, our beliefs are going to change. Uh, mean not our core beliefs, but there are beliefs that are probably stopping us from achieving the results we want. Right? Um, I, for example, uh, when I go when I'm going through a, a, a you know wanting to be the weight I want instead of the weight I am, right? I uh, 
you know, I realized because I love people. I love hanging out with friends, you know, and when I hang out with friends, it's usually at a bar, you know, having a couple beers, having some food, you know, and that I love that. I love hanging out with my friends. So that's who I am. You know, I, I'm a I'm a social person. At the same time, that stuff, that hanging those beers and that that food at the bars, that's keeping me away from the, being the weight I want to be, right? So, so then I had to make it shift, right? Like, okay, how do I still hang out with friends and also at the same time, right, uh, not consume the, those calories, those empty calories? Uh, so you have to make you have to make some choices. You don't want to not you don't want to I don't want to lose not being the social person. At the same time, I want to be the weight. So it, it was again. Uh, maybe drinking soda water uh, for so for a while. I just I drank soda water instead of beer. Not as fun, but uh, <laughs> but definitely. Uh, but but then again, I was going more towards my goal. I was still able to hang out with my friends, be social. Uh, so that was a belief change. How do I be both worlds? How do I be social and at the same time also you know being mindful about being the way I want to be? So right. that that was a, a belief change I had to make. You know. Right. Actually, you bring up a very valid point because I think a lot of people have that same issue, you know, whether it's saving money, losing weight. When you go out with friends, a lot of time it's about getting a burger, having a few beers and all of that adds calories and also adds costs. So you look at I mean, you could look at it from also a financial perspective. And yeah. if your goals are to save money, going out, meeting friends, spending out forty fifty dollars or a hundred dollars on drinking or food not the ideal situation so it's definitely a, an area that both from your view and from my view is definitely a, a challenge and I think one of the things that you mentioned is also one of the things that I try to do from my side with the goal of saving money is if you have a beer also order a glass of water so what happens is the beer might cost five to seven dollars. The water is free, but it takes twice as long. You know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell anyone what, what how they if they want to have a cold beers. That's great. I what my whole thing is this is like be intense, have intense. So when you know when you write down your goal and you write down those questions of what good you shall do the day this day. Um, like say you write down, I will, I'm only, I'm going to go to the bar with friends. I'm going to be social. I'm only going to have two beers. Maybe that's your physical goal, two beers today, uh, or maybe one drink today. And that way, cause know that, or I'm going to make sure I go to the gym before I go to the bar. But when you write it down, I'll tell you this. It's I I've seen the, I've seen how powerful it is. You write it down in the morning, what you're going to do this day. And at the end of the day, when you say, what good did I do this day in your physical, your professional and your personal self, you will, I will say you will have completed what you started the day out. And that is the key. You uh, end your day feeling accomplished because you did what you wanted to from the start of the day. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Josh. I'm looking forward to getting a hold of that book in my own hands. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. It's on Amazon, right? It's on Amazon. Get it and order it very shortly. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Mark. Thanks a lot for joining us today, Josh. Definitely. Yeah, see you.